Today I'm going to be taking an inside look at the Focal Aria 906 speaker. The Focal Aria 906 has a retail price of $2,198 per pair, so these aren't exactly cheap, but nothing is these days. The version that I purchased has a vinyl walnut finish that has a rubberized feel to it. The top of the speaker has a glass top with a decal that proudly states made in France. This decal can be easily removed if you choose to do so. The front and back of the speaker are wrapped in a nice black vinyl material that give it a higher end look. The beauty ring around the woofer is made out of aluminum and is held in with double sided tape. I would have liked to have seen a better mounting solution than tape, but it is what it is. So what do you get for your $2,198? Let's find out. The first thing I need to do is remove the metal beauty ring around the woofer. This beauty ring is held in with double sided tape. In my opinion the solution that Bowers and Wilkins and Kef use for their beauty rings is much better because it uses no tape. When you spend over $2,000 for a set of speakers, I don't want any tape holding things together, but that's just me. Here I'm removing the beauty ring by carefully using a credit card and butter knife to pry it loose. The woofer is held in with six Torx screws. These screws are screwed directly into the MDF on the front baffle and contain no metal inserts for strength. For a speaker costing over $2,000 a pair here in the United States, I would have liked to have seen some metal inserts for the mounting screws. Even the B&W 685 speakers that I did a look inside video on had them, and this is B&W's entry level series. I'm not trying to bash Focal, I'm merely pointing out what I have observed from other brands. When you spend $2,000 plus on bookshelf speakers, I think these details matter. The Aria 906 uses a 6.5 inch mid bass driver and the comb material is made out of flax fiberglass. Some of the things that I like about this driver include a die cast basket for reduced resonance, it uses a vented pole piece for the motor structure, and the speaker terminals are gold plated. It appears this mid bass driver uses a 1 inch voice coil and the impedance of this driver measured at 4 ohms on my digital multimeter. This speaker weighs in at 3 pounds and 9.9 .9 ounces on my scale. Now let's get this speaker on the bench to see what the TS parameters are. Here are the TS parameters that I measured with my Dayton Audio DATS V3 tool. I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one of these tools. The driver that Focal chose is pretty nice. Look at that low inductance value, which will give this driver great transient response and detail. To remove the tweeter housing from the front baffle, you first have to remove this rubberized beauty cover that acts as a waveguide and is held in place by double sided tape. The Aria 906 uses a 1 inch aluminum and magnesium inverted dome tweeter design. Focal claims the inverted dome brings more surface area into closer proximity with the voice coil which allows the coil to be smaller and lower in mass. This reduced mass allows the dome to move faster than a conventional dome for better high frequency response. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds good in the marketing material. Now let's take a look at the cabinet to see what kind of quality $2,198 buys you from Focal. As you can see, there's a lot of damping material that is being used on the inside of the cabinet, which is nice to see. On the inside of the cabinet is one center brace that measures 1 and 5 8 inches in height and is made out of 5 8 inch MDF. The front baffle is made out of 3 quarters inch MDF and the rear cabinet wall is made out of 5 8 inch MDF. 
I have no way of measuring the size of the cabinet, but if I had to guess, they are probably made out of 5 8 inch MDF as well. The reason I say 5 8 inch MDF for the side walls is the cabinets do sing a tiny bit during a good old fashioned knock test. As a comparison, I also have a pair of KEF Q350s in for review that have an MSRP of $799, but can be found on sale quite regularly throughout the year for $500. The front baffle on these speakers are 1.34 inches thick and the side and rear cabinet walls are .59 inches thick. I'll let you, the viewer, determine if the cabinet construction on the Focals is indicative of speakers costing $2,198. Man, it's getting hard for me to find good things to say about the Focal 906, and I'm really trying. I don't want to bash the brand because this isn't what this channel is about. It's about informing consumers on what they are getting for their money. Frankly, I'm really disappointed in what $2,200 gets you from Focal. So far, the MSRP and the quality of the construction is more in line with speakers costing around $1,000. Looking over the crossover components, I see a tiny air core inductor and poly cap on the tweeter circuit, and an iron core inductor and an electrolytic cap on the woofer circuit. The Aria 906 would benefit tremendously from a crossover upgrade. Focal put a very nice mid-bass driver in these speakers, and then handicapped it by using all of these poor crossover components. What a shame. Now let's see if there are any ferromagnetic materials being used in the binding posts. Great, there are no ferromagnetic materials being used in the binding post terminals. But unfortunately, in order to connect the binding post to the circuit board on the crossover, they use steel parts in order to make that connection. If you want to hear my opinion on how these speakers sound, then make sure to check out my up and coming review video which I should have out next month. In this video, I'll go over in great detail on how the Aria 906 sounds in a variety of listening conditions. This is my first pair of Focal speakers and I do enjoy listening to them, but they don't represent the value that I'm used to that are offered by other brands at this price point. In my opinion, Focal got a bit too optimistic and maybe a bit greedy when it came to pricing these at $2,198 a pair, especially when there are competitors in the marketplace like the KEF R3 Metas and Bowers & Wilkins 706 S3, which both offer much better cabinet construction and quality that is in line with speakers costing $2,000 or more. But it isn't all bad news, there are some things that I do like about the Focal 906. The first one being the woofer. Focal used a really nice low inductance woofer design, but unfortunately it's handicapped by the weak crossover. If you have the tools and skill set to redesign the crossover network, then this speaker would benefit tremendously from that upgrade. Another thing that I like about the Focal 906 is its appealing looks. No doubt these speakers are gorgeous to look at, but I wish Focal spent more of their budget on using quality components than making the speaker look pretty. And lastly, my favorite thing about the Focal 906 is that they're currently on sale for less than $1,000. That is if you get the vinyl walnut versions like I did. When the Focal 906 is on sale in that low $1,000 price point range, then I think they offer pretty decent value for money. If you want to purchase a set of Aria 906s, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description. I use the money that I make from affiliate links to purchase measuring equipment, speakers, and other things to keep this channel going, and your support is much appreciated. And that's my look inside video on the Focal Aria 906. So long and happy listening.